Look at these! One of the most beautiful sets of raised planters I've ever seen. I made them. Watch the video, I'll show you how I did it. I used some large sheets of plywood, 15 mil thick. These were off a shed roof, um, but you could maybe use scaffolding boards as an alternative. I started by making the top planter first. That's the main one in the corner. To keep things simple, I did the planter the same height as my set square. Mark two points, drew a line and cut it out. Make sure you use a set square because this will keep your planters nice and square. I cut two sides out the same size and I decided to go with a rectangle shape so the other two sides were going to be slightly larger. Same process with them, mark two points the same height as your set square, draw a line and cut them both out. To initially fasten all this together, I had some big 3x4 chunky fence posts. I then fastened these with decking screws, three down the side. As you can see, I've done the same on both sides, and you'll notice a sanding pad. I'm sanding down as I go, just because plywood does get a bit splintery. Repeat the process for two sides, and then start fastening them together using your decking screws. You should have something that looks like this. I had some tongue and groove timber. I decided to use this for my edging, as it was the perfect size and already treated on one side. With my saw I drew a 45 degree angle on each corner and cut it out. I followed this process all the way around until I had my first planter complete. I decided to make the long planter to the right next. Exactly the same process as the first planter, but because this planter is so long, to prevent bowing I've added two large supports down each side and a brace in the centre just to pull them sides in a bit. Same again with the edging, all cut at 45 degrees on each corner. To secure this I used one inch screws, pre-drill a hole in the uh, edging and then screwed that into the frame. I also went round the edges with one inch uh, pins and tacked all around the edge to keep that nice and secure and strengthen the planter. There you go, look what we've created, two planters. By this stage you'll get a real good sense of achievement. You've got two planters in place and you can almost see how it's going to lay out and you just want to crack on and do the rest. So as you can see from the image, we have three different size planters. So we're going to go on and make the smaller one. This is the same size as the larger one at the top, just a fraction of the height. Same process as before. Four sides, four large timbers, fasten them together and put the edging on. I don't want to show pictures and diagrams of exactly how I did this because you've already seen it twice in the other two planters. Once you've done this, you should have something that looks a little like this. Three planters stepping down just minus the dog, the child, the teddies, the blankets and everything else that's been put inside them. Okay, so repeat the process for another long planter and then repeat the process for the end planter. And you'll have something that looks like this. Wow, aren't you proud? Doesn't it look great? Okay, let's go on to the next step, protection. Okay, I gave my planters six coats of liquid latex paint. This protects all the edges underneath, all the sides from the weather, from the elements. Not only that, you want to be painting insides with waterproof, weatherproof paint and also line the insides of your planters with plastic. That will give further protection. Protection is very important with planters because you want them to last. Wow! Look at those! Incredible! You made them! Well, I've got my weed protector on there. I'm going to put decorative aggregates in the top and then fill with plants. Can you imagine what these are going to look like midsummer? Thank you for watching and please subscribe.